So everyone gets lost. You know, from a typical dad on a cross-country vacation to a young airman at his first duty station. All in unfamiliar territory, but yet a still desire to explore. Luckily, we all have a saving grace, GPS. I'm a satellite systems operator for the 2nd Space Operations Squadron here at Shriver Air Force Base, Colorado. It is my mission, along with the fellow airmen I work with, to command and control all 39 GPS satellite now this is a big responsibility, like as he, he said, that I only graduated from high school not even two years ago, and for some, college. Now most people think that GPS is just a way to tell you where to go, but it really doesn't even do that. It really only tells you three things, who it is, where the satellite is, and what time it is. Your receiver uses that information to figure out where you are at. So from there we need to understand how you get your location from GPS. And how it works is it, from the known time that GPS is sending down, your receiver uses that information to get a, how far you are from the known location of our satellites. From there, it makes an imaginary ring on the Earth of possible locations where you're at. Once your receiver gets this information from three separate satellites, it will create three imaginary rings that all intersect at one point, your location. A basic GPS receiver will only tell you your exact coordinates. Such features as directions or the voice that tells you to turn left is completely dependent upon your receiver. So if you get told to turn left into a pond, that's not our fault. <laughs> but we're going to tell you you're in a pond. Now GPS is more than just navigation, it's a timing signal that is so accurate it's up to, up to one nanosecond. So many inventive thinkers thought of many ways to help the community by using it in stoplights, helping farmers plow their fields, or helping that dad on that cross-country vacation to not admit that he's lost. It helps so many people that in 2011, the International Astronautical Federation awarded GPS with their 60th year anniversary award, saying GPS is a space program that aids and helps more humans of every minute of every day in every corner of the globe. A mentor that's very renowned in the GPS community, Lieutenant Colonel Brandt, he used to say, go home tonight, call your mother, and let her know that you affect four billion people around the world every day. And when she say, wow, you must have a real important job, you can say, yes, mom, yes, I do. <laughs> and being how my mother alone will probably watch this probably about 500 times, <laughs> I take great pride in if I'm helping someone simply get to the grocery store or helping our troops come back home. What was designed as a military system and still is can now help students in the University of British Columbia help find injured elephants and uncover incidents of poaching. It can also help charities bring aid to people that need it the most. The men and women of the 2nd and 19th Space Operations Squadron, our reserve counterparts, will be there 24-7 to make sure you can find your way home or to your next great idea. And don't worry, we'll help you get there. Thank you.